Oh, welcome back everybody, this is Danny Code, and we are continuing on with the Avorian 2.0 playthrough, and we're getting pretty close to facing the Wormhole Guardian. I My main goal in this video is actually to really make sure that I have... Uh, yeah, I by the way, I had a pretty intense battle, so I lost many of my fighters, but anyways, I digress. I wish I was actually... <laughs> Uh, recording because it was pretty epic anyways so my main goal is to make sure that now I have everything min maxed so that I'm ready for the wormhole guardian we already have a couple friends online to to call in when we're facing the wormhole guardian so we have two of our allies that we can call in reinforcements and we do that with the uh, wormhole power diverter so we have one of those and we'll have to put that on uh, to replace this. And what do we have? Pirates are attacking. Oh, no. I'll let the local faction take care of that. That's fine. But, yeah, so so that's that. So we have that. We have a couple friends. But, again, my main goal here is to min-max. I want to make sure that I have the best possible arrangement of subsystems. As you can see, this one we could probably do without because this one is really doing the hard work for this. So this is just a secondary one. So we can take this one off. I don't think it really does any, I don't think it really adds anything to be honest with you because the energy recharge when the shields go down. So what this does is when the shields go down, it recharges it up to a certain amount and it's 35 on this and then it's 35 on this one too. So, but this one has actually shield durability. It adds to the shield durability as well, but this one does not. Now, what I'd like to do is I'd like to get a legendary one of these instead of just an exotic. So this one is doing fine for now, but again, like I said, I can take this one off and I can actually replace it with something. We can probably replace this with something as well, or at least make this a legendary. And I still have my Turk control systems that I need to make and upgrade those as well. Now. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to be basically looking for battles everywhere. <laughs> and I think, I don't know, in this area is going to be the best place to do that. So what I'm thinking is, because we're, we're really pretty close to the edge of the barrier here. So we're still inside the barrier, but we're close to the edge. But I think this one, we're closer to the center of the galaxy here, as you can see. So I think our battles, I think I want to look for battles, maybe like this distress signal or something like that, and then go from there. Now, the last thing I do want to do is I have, I have depleted a lot of my torpedoes in a lot of my other battles here, and I do have a different arrangement of these. So I used to have nukes, sabots, and plasma. At the moment, I just have sabots on these three and then plasma on these two and the way i have it arranged is i have on eight are my sabots and on nine is my plasma so as far as the arrangements concerned uh depending on what i want to do is if i want to take out their shields i can just say uh turn off eight hey what's going on there why isn't that not working Okay, anyways, so I can just turn off 8 and leave the plasmas on, and that will help take out the shields. Or if I want to take out their hull, I can just turn off 9 and leave 8 on and take off their hull. That'll throw 3 sabots at them. Or if I really just want to take them out, I can put on both, keep on both, and go that, that direction as well. So that's the plan, but I need to get, I need to fill up my stores again. So as you can see, I have a ton of room, but I don't have a ton of torps. What are these? Hawk class torpedoes. I don't need those. Go away, you. Go away, you. Why is it doing that? I don't need the hawk ones because I don't use those. Oh, were those? Oh, was I looking at the wrong? Th I was looking at the wrong thing. I'm an idiot. Oh, well, doesn't matter. They didn't look all that great anyways. <laughs> Never mind. I just threw out per three perfectly good torpedoes, I'm sure. Eh, it's all right. Whatever. So, again, my main goal is just to go around to some equipment docks here, grab some stuff. I'm actually going to look at their other stuff, like their turrets and their upgrades to see if I can't get some combat turret subsystems. 
or what was the other one? What are these called? These are called these are called the reviving. So some reviving protectors, but or projectors, protectors, protectors. So what I've noticed though is I've never really seen these in equipment docks. I've seen everything else, like the combat turret control systems. So yeah, so we're gonna be looking at those. So we're just gonna be going and doing a little shopping is basically, basically what I'm saying. And then after that, we'll go and pick some battles over here in the sectors and in, the, in these sectors and then uh, have some fun. So, yep, yeah, okay. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna salvage the rest of this sector. And then we will go ahead and, oh, I got something there. Long range railgun, sure, I'll take it. But anyways, yeah, so we're gonna salvage the rest of the sector, pick up all the loot, and then go shopping. Oh, the other thing I wanna do, by the way, just real quick, is I want to make sure, I mean, we're at we're at 15 subsystem sockets, but, and, and going here, I don't think we're, I don't think we're gonna, I don't know, will we get a 16th one? I don't even know. So this is 2.0, I haven't had a, I haven't had a large ship in 2.0 yet, but, so I want to make sure my ship is as big as possible as well. So basically we're mid-maxing to face the Wormhole Guardian. So, okay, gonna do a little jump cut here and I'll be right back. All right, so I have a ton of torpedoes and yeah, I just got so many of them now, but we filled up our hold. So we have 40, uh, 40, uh, 4,456 out of 44,460. Boy, I can speak. <laughs> I can read numbers. But yeah, so we have just a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of torpedoes. And yeah, it looks like we have some storage down here, but we really don't. Uh, I don't really want to dock. I don't think you guys really have anything. So I'm kind of close to this equipment dock here. And and I'm in now this sector, these sectors here. But what I want to do is I want to... I just got kind of get close here because I want to see what we can do here. Now I'm going to take this one off. I'm not, not going to take this one off yet, but I'm going to take this one off. Yeah. And then let's see what else we have here. So I'd like to really boost up our shields, but I don't think we really have anything that really boosts them up too much. Now, I don't know of anything else here as far as legendary. I mean, we can do a shield reinforcer. So this is impenetrable shields. But I don't think that's really going to help me too much because, I mean, it, it'll help me, but the shield durability is down almost 60%, so I don't like that at all. And time until recharge is, is, is up as well, so that's really bad. I mean, it's good and bad all at the same time. <laughs> I don't think that's really great. This isn't really going to help us. This would kind of help us. I mean, we can take off this and put on something else as well. But let's see what we have down here. So, uh, yeah, I don't think we really have anything that stands out to me here as well. Uh, well, this is good. So we can put one of these, another one of these on. Now that would mean that that's a turret control. This combat that's combat. So that means we have three, no, four of those, five of those. But I hesitate taking these off because it's not really going to, if you see here, we have seven arm turrets, seven, seven. So that would bring us down uh, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So that brings down 21. And for a regular one, that's nine. So that would be, that wouldn't, that wouldn't do it for us. But we can actually stick this one on, yeah, and then that would give us more turret slots here. So that's that's quite a that's quite a few of them. So that would get our our Omicron ups pretty good. So that's one thing. So we got that, 
And what else can we do here? So I can take off this object detector for now. And then stick something else on there as well. So... I don't know, are these even good? So shield durability is up 42%, so that's really good. Generator energy is down, so that's really just kinda, so if we really wanted to run away, that would kinda hamper our efforts there. So I'm on the fence on that one. And these are civils, auto turrets, Tur control system, tur control system. So I could put one of these on here. And these give us arbitraries. So four, five, six arbitraries. So I can put one of those on there. But what this is, uh, the problem with this though is then we can't put on our, we can't call on our reinforcements. But for now, I don't know. Yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and just leave on, let's go ahead and do, Go ahead and just stick on one of these because we're going to be fighting. We're going to be doing a bunch of fighting or I can just stick this one back on. Or I could just actually we can we can swap these two out, can't we? Yeah, I think we can swap these two out. So that's 72. 108. 106 percent. Uh, is this really giving us good? Yeah, so that's 17. So that'll give us a boost there. So let's put that on. Yeah, so that that's a little bit better, right? So that's good. So that's one. That's, not, that's a good min-max right there. I like it. So we'll keep that one on. Definitely, definitely, definitely. And yeah, so that is it for now. But I just want to put this on because we're going to be doing a lot of fighting. So this will help us gain the loot. So I'm going to be doing a lot of fighting and trying to gather as much loot as possible. So I think we're going to install this one permanently as well. And yeah, so that'll give us 1.72 kilometers more of... Uh, space that we can actually do that. Okay, so with all that said, let's go into build mode here. And I think I wanna bring this up a little further and I wanna do a few other modifications. So what I wanna do is I think I'm gonna take these off. I'm gonna put a little bit more thrusters, a, little, a few more thrusters back here actually. So we're gonna square these up, I think. So let's go ahead and turn on mirroring, mirroring, and can we actually, yeah, so that'll take off those two. Let's just do, take that off. And those two there, what, is, what are these? These are just armors, so we'll take those off. What is this? Integrity field generator, so we'll definitely keep those there. I do want to select those. It looks like Do we need more of those? Hold on, let me let me just take a looky loo here. Make sure everything's covered with integrity shield generators. I think everything is except this little bit in here. So let's go ahead and put just a little tiny integrity field generators just in here, I think. Just like that, we'll cover it with some armor. Real quick. And doop, that. That. And then just on the bottom there, like that. So we have that little system there. 
All right, so that was it though. So everything else is golden, I think. There's a few, like these are not exactly done, I think, but that's fine, it's okay. I'm looking for spots that are not covered, but I think we're good there. Okay, so what I was saying though, is I really want to go ahead and, and I think, do we want to make them out of, have some directional thrusters here. So let's just look at, because in battle, I really want the pitch to be a little bit better. So I'm going to put directional thrusters back here. And I just want to look to see if I do that. And I do want to make sure that they are in the right direction like that. And then this. So let's just look what we have here. So we have pitch 0 0.1 rad. So that's not a lot. <laughs> 0 0.1 rads here. I do something like that. Say 0 0.3 rads. I mean that that does help a lot, actually, because if you look at a RADS now, I don't know what a RAD is, but it's the unit of measurement, but it's 0 0.8 on pitch. And this is actually helping with yaw as well, which is neat. Okay, so what I want to do, though, is I want to look at different materials. So this is a Vorian, and it's 0 0.3 on a Vorian. So, but I really would like to make it out of these so let's get in here and like that so same same right so, but these are lighter so i think that's a little bit better so let's um let's just go ahead and make it look like we're trying to design this thing a little bit here and do something like this maybe Something like that, or actually, let's make it look like that. So it looks like we have these two big dealy boppers there. That's the wrong color, but I'm not going to worry about that for now. Let's try to put some of these on the bottom as well. Something like that, but over just one. So this will kind of mirror what we have on top there. Something like that. Yeah, so that'll give us a little bit more, methinks. Oh, I see. Look at that. So that's, let me just take these off real quick. Yeah, so that's, okay, so that's, that's doing well. That's doing all right. Okay, so that's, that's worth it. So let's put those back like that. And how can we make those look good? Because <laughs> they kind of look kind of look crappy at the moment. First of all, let's go ahead and color them the right color. And then we can actually do something like, let's protect them a little bit. Let's go ahead and go into some armor here. I think something like this. Rotate but I want to rotate it like that, like that. But we're going to make it thinner than that, that definitely. So just push this back a little bit and then up. Try to make it look like we designed the gaff. Something like that. And then let's do the same thing here. It's not, I'm not going for perfect here, but I just want to make it look like it was designed and not just tacked on. Do something like that and that'll give it a little bit more protection as well i do want to make these orange like so and then we can actually we can actually let's get the armor again and i think these is this what we want yeah that's what we want and why is it not working the shift that I want. I 
Uh, let's do this. Let's focus. There we go. That'll make it a little bit easier. Yeah, so that's kind of what I want, but I want it just in here like that. And then do the same thing here. Like so, yeah, that looks a little bit better. Like, it just doesn't look like it's tacked on now, like, you know what I'm saying? So, let's focus this. Just put one more bit here. Yeah, so that looks a little bit better, yeah? Something like that, and then what I'm gonna do, let's go ahead and do this. Let this, uh, that, oops. That, that. Why is that not selecting? Just come on, do me a favor. Am I holding the wrong button? There we go. So I just want to select those three pieces. Copy. Paste. So now we have those three pieces and we'll put something here. But we're going to rotate like so. And obviously make it thinner like so. We just put that on top there. Is that not? Why is that not? Oh, because it's. Oh, I see. Because it's orange, so it looks weird. So it looks like it's red. Just bring it in just a little, a little bit more there. Oh, it's not meeting up. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Something like that. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Looks okay. I'm not going to say it looks cool. Looks okay. <laughs> looks okay. Looks all right. All right. Let's put, uh, let's focus on this. And rotate. Put another bit here match that matches fine perfect I like it oh I look it again let's rotate this this way and rotate it again this way I don't do a lot of this to be honest with you but I do like to make it look like it doesn't look too horrible like some thought was put into it just focus on this real quick, make it a little easier on ourselves. And then one last bit. And I don't know if this is really gonna help too much, but it makes me feel better. <laughs> and that's what really counts. Yeah. I don't know, it looks okay. We'll go with it. We shall go with it. So, but that should, I hope, I mean, it's still a little bit not great. I mean, I could put in some, now that I have these little gaps in here, I could put in some gyro arrays as well, I think. So if I go ahead and rotate these in the correct orientation, and then this, Try to get this right here. I can never figure out that's your, I want pitch. That's pitch, okay. So if I go ahead and stick some of these on here. This should help with the, yeah, so that puts another 0, 0.0 rads on there. But let's go ahead and just kind of put it in there like that. I just want to kind of stick them in here so they don't get hit too much. Just like that. Yeah, I think that should be fine. I think that should be fine. Hopefully it doesn't get blown off. Again, I just, more maneuverability is my, my main goal here. 
And usually when I'm fighting something, I'm trying to get the top bit here. So they're like in this general area because that's where most of my fire, my firepower is. So I'm just kind of scooting around there, trying to get my yaw, trying to rotate that way as much as possible. So that is the situation there, I think. Can I, I don't know here, let me see here. Can I just put something in here? So that'll help the roll as well. Yeah, it's not a lot, but. Just tuck it in there. I'm really, really hoping that helps just a little bit. I know it's not a premium site for the roll. Like I, I can place that a little bit better, but I think that'll help just a little bit. Okay. So, okay. So the other thing I really want to do was modify the ship just a little bit bigger. And let's see, we have a good amount of resources. So where can we go with this? I think about right there, 106 is about it because this is our control. Well, maybe 107, oh, maybe a little bit more. How about 110? Can we do 110? Yeah, 163, just about 21. Okay, so this, the Xanion, we need a little bit more Xanion. So let's just go down 1%. One more percent. Five twenty-two. so we got that. So it's the Xanion. Is there, hold on, is there in this sector? Well, there is. Let's go get some Xanion. And yeah. So let's go dock over here and I'll be right back. Okay, so they have quite a bit of Xanion. I don't need that much, I don't think. I forget how much I need it. Um, should I get it all? Should I get all of that? Let's just get 200,000. I mean, that's most of it. <laughs> and then go from there. Now, I think, honestly, all that building of those things here back here, the directional thrusters and the and the gyro arrays. It just made me feel better. I don't think it really affected too much, to be honest with you. I mean, it just made me feel better. So that's that's that was what that whole exercise was, I think. All right, so we have that. Let's go ahead and see what we can do. So I'd like to do one ten percent of think. I think that'll get us up to the maximum processing power, if not over. So let's look at this again. So we definitely have, oh, do we need more iron? No, we got enough iron, barely, but we got enough. And Xanion, and Oconites, definitely have enough Oconites, and a Vorian, 170, okay, so we have, should have enough here. Oh, that didn't get us up to the max. That's fine. Still, that's good. So my main concern here too was that when I was in a battle, it went down, I think like enough things fell off that the processing power went down. And I think one of my subsystems was not active. And it said that all my turrets were not active at the same time. So yeah, what do we have here? So your ship will slowly take damage. We have, we don't have enough mechanics. I think we may, we don't, okay. So let's go ahead and grab some mechanics. If we have some over here, we don't, uh, Oh no, we do have enough mechanics already. Uh, all right. Let me go ahead. I'm going to grab some about 20, 21 is good. We're just going to hire a few, a few more randos. <laughs> And we definitely don't want that captain. Definitely don't need a transport. Okay, so last thing we're gonna do here, I just wanna make sure everything is good there. Last thing I wanna do here, we do have some turret slots to fill up. Oops, 
the way. There we go. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And they say arbitrary, but that mean that still means that we can put in a combat one. So we'll do that. So what do we have here? Probably some junk. We have some junk, I'm sure. <laughs> Let's do DPS. And obviously those, no. Long range, dual pulse. That's actually, it's not too bad. I should get some, oh, you know what? That would be good, so I can get some repair fighters, some better repair fighters, huh? Ah, we'll do that later. That's not too bad. What's this? Electrifier, oh, that takes some shields down. Ooh, look at this. But that's kind of close range. But that's good because I kind of tend to fight close range a lot of times as well. But look at the DPS on that. That takes down electric. So that is, that would, that's, oh, it's a coax weapon. So we don't want that. No, thank you. Because coax, if I'm not mistaken, coax is, it doesn't, it doesn't target. So it just goes uh, forward, doesn't target. Oh, this needs to be the on anyways. Um, anyways. But they're, they take, they give a lot of damage though, those coaxes. Uh, okay, so I think, let's just put any old thing on here. This is good. these and we only have one so let's go ahead and put it in the center here would be good I think or actually right here would be great just like that and we only have one of those right yeah we only have one of those so what else do we have here Fierce dual electrifier. So this is that's pretty good. Gunner's three. So that's pretty big as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty big. Look at that thing. Oh my gosh! <laughs> it's huge, and I need the problem with this is I need a Vorian to put it on as well, don't I? Mm. I guess I can actually just make these out of the Vorian. So they're Ogonite now, and but they're they're shield or they're not shield, but they're armor. All right, so let's do that. Let's go ahead and make those out of. Uh, I guess we can do smart hull. Let's do regular hull. I think. What's the difference here? This, I mean, this I know processing power, but. All right, we'll just do that. So this is going to really affect my. Um, it's really going to affect, yeah, so it's going to affect my roll acceleration. Oh, wait, so it's taking it down. Oh, well, this is good, but I think, yeah, so it takes down my hit points on my hull. So that's not great. That's not great at all. I don't like that. What is this? This is Oganite armor. So I can actually do that. Yeah, so that's what we'll do. We'll just stick them on those. I hope they're big enough. I don't know if they're big enough. Or I can just tack some on here, I think. Oh, you know what I can do? That's what I can do. Is I can just tack some on. I can tack some on like here. Do something like that. Can I? You know what? How big are these? D 
do something like that to rotate these this way. So this gives it kind of like a, but that it's going to be taken off easily is what that problem is. Yeah, I don't like this at all. I was thinking of just tacking on some, what you call it there, but I think, yeah, I don't like that at all. I'm just gonna try a little experiment here, I think. I'm gonna try a little experiment. It looks, it looks wacky, I know. But let's see, where is it here? Um, oh man, how about this? Uh, let's try this one. <laughs> And they're both fairly good. These take out shields, those take out shields. Well, those, those would take out shields as well. There's two of these. So do something like that. So I can't, okay, yeah, it's, it's telling me I can't do two of them, I know that. Let me, I'm gonna take this one off now. This is, how many do these take, actually? Let's look real quick. So these take four. Um, I can take this one off. This is the one that I had on there. Or that I did just put on there. Although I really like that gun. Okay, so we'll just do one and one. So do we have any more slots? I don't think we do. We have two more slots. Okay. So one more. We'll just stick another one over here. And I'm just kind of curious if it's going to be blown off. Can we actually do the... Can we actually put this one on? No, not enough slots. Oh my God, it takes six slots. Holy cannoli. Four slots, we only have two. Yeah, these take a lot of, my goodness. What do we got here? Uh, oh, this may be an option, but this is a cannon. I don't know, we'll just stick it here. <laughs> Whatever. It's fine with me. Okay. So that brings our Omicron up to, we were at, what, we were at like 32 or something like that. And now we're at 40. So that's a little bit better. It's not great. I really need to min-max my turrets and I'm just really bad at that but I think we're ready for some battles I think uh, I think that's that's good so let's put these on one 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 so those are three new ones oh, we have still one one left uh, not worried about it so that's eight eight and nine, we'll put that on. Do we have some auto? Yeah, we have a bunch of auto. Just put these on autos. Definitely that one on auto. That one, 47, we have three more. Definitely that one. Uh, no, maybe, yes. Forty-eight. What is this? How many does this have? Oh, that's four. Uh, there we go. Okay. I feel better about that. <laughs> sort of. A little bit. All right. Good. So we have our torpedoes. We have some more turrets. We have a little bit more, again, uh, maneuvering power, although, is it good? Yeah, it's not too bad. It's not too shabby. Yeah, that's actually a little bit better. Feels a little bit better. Let's just go through that. Yeah, that turns pretty well. 
All right, so that's good for a little bit more final prep. Again, like I said, once we go into battle, we're gonna have to take this off, but I mean, this is okay for now. So, I mean, once we go hit the wormhole guardian, we'll have to take that off, put this back on. But other than that, we did a little bit of rearranging here. I think we're a little bit better off. I still really need to upgrade these. I think I'll do that between episodes. But for now, let's go, let's go pick a fight. Should we do these? No, let's go. Let's go pick a fight with. Yeah, I think this will be a good. A good test here if those guys are still there. So let's go. Let's go hit these guys. Again, those little those other turrets that we put on the side there, just kind of like a test. I'm kind of curious. Oh, you know what? Uh, I should have thought of it. I didn't look at the integrity field generators for those new ones, so I may have to come back here. But let's just jump here. Maybe we can. Maybe we got lucky. And they're covered. Because if they're not covered, they're going to be blown right off. Just go back in here. Just look. Uh, yeah, no, they're covered. They should be fine. They should be fine, so they shouldn't get blown right off. I know they're a small piece, which really kind of worries me. So, okay, we should be fine. We should be fine, we should be fine. All right, so we have our Zotan here. Let's go ahead and look for the summoner. There he is. Gotcha. You, sir, are going to be taken out first. I'm going to keep all my torpedoes on, and hopefully we can knock this guy out fairly quickly just gonna creep up to him here because we have quite a few of them in here already how many do we have we have three four four six seventy nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen we have fourteen of them so it's a fair amount of them especially this close to the center all right so that should be close enough throw some torpedoes at them yeah. Oh man, those torpedoes took him out quick. Nice. All right, so let's go ahead and just try our, our regular guns. It's taking this guy out fairly quickly. We got a little damage there, a little scratch on the paint, but our shields are still good. All right, and this is what I'm talking about here is this. If we overshoot, I need to turn around quickly and get him. Boy, you're loud there, sir. And yeah, so that's inefficient. So I'm really gonna have to look at trying to get my maneuverability up a little bit. So my shields are half gone now. Just trying to take this guy out. There we go. Let's try to take this guy out. Let's th start throwing some torpedoes because I'm I'm hurting here a little bit. That did a lot of damage to him, which was great. That's exactly what I wanted. So this is just like more of a test for the fight for the Zotan Wormhole Guardian as well. So if I can take these guys out pretty fast, I can take out his, oh, here we go with the quantum guy. Let's try to take this guy out fast. Ooh, oh, ooh, that was nice. <laughs> but yeah, so this is a test to take out his reinforcements quickly. So my shields are kind of down. They should come back up to 35% once they reach down a little bit further there. Hopefully they come back up. Yeah, so I'm gonna look to get my maneuverability up a little bit here, but that's not too bad. I turned around pretty quick there. There's my shields. The went back up, so okay, so let's start taking these guys out because my shields are I've already used my rejuvenator, so they're gonna I'm gonna start taking damage here pretty quick. Yep. Oh man, he's he's a tough cookie. Yeah, he's a savage one. Let's just try to take this guy out a little quicker. I think we should be good. We have a little, little bit of damage going on here. 
but I think I'm going to hold toe-to-toe -to, -toe to these guys. I'm not going to jump away. As long as I can get this guy out here faster. There we go. Okay. Yeah, so we should be good, hopefully. Let's try to take this guy out fast. Throw him some care packages. Beautiful. All right, we should be good. Should be good. Our shields are down. We're about one-third damage. Not going to waste any torpedoes on you, sir. But let's go ahead and take you out next. Oh, you're gone. Good. Pretty nice. Perfect. Yeah, so that's good. So we took him out fairly quickly. We still have some work to do, though. Still have some work to do. So my main goals are going to be for before I meet the Zotan Wormhole Guardian is to get my systems up a little bit better so I can actually put on some more turrets. I'd also like to get some more, some better fighters as well. I know I'm not using them right now, but I do when things get tough. This guy out here. Someone has some point defense, that's all right. That should get that guy out fairly quickly. There we go. But I like to get some better fighters just in case I need them because the fighters I have now, the offensive fighters, are fairly weak. Although what's good about them is they do take on, they do help take some of the damage away from me, like some of the focus. You gotta start taking these guys out because I'm down to half damage here. And this guy is hardcore. Yeah, so before this, if I was in this battle, and I had a battle like this before, like right before I started recording here, they they really did a number on me. But this is a pretty good test. So as long as I have a good amount of torpedoes, I'm fairly confident that I can do a, pr a, a fair amount of damage on the uh, on the Zotan Wormhole Guardian. So I think that's pretty successful. I mean, we took a lot of damage, but a lot better than I thought it would be. I thought I'd have to run away from this battle, <laughs> honestly. All right, not a lot of loot came off these guys, though. Doesn't look like it. Let me just look around here. Got a little bit. Got some. I saw some. There's some down here. But nothing too fancy. Which is a shame. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these, get this loot and then I'm going to salvage. Oh, you know why I don't have a lot? Because I think I was gathering it because of the uh, our tractor beams here. So, which is good which is exactly what they're made for. So, but yeah, so I'm going to salvage here. I'm going to grab this loot here, and I think that's pretty much it for the sector. And then uh, go on from there. So, yeah. So, not too much in this episode. So we did a little bit of... a little bit of upgrading. So, a little bit more preparing. So, final, final preparations. So... Between this episode and next episode, we'll have, I'll try to concentrate on getting these up and running. We're, we're fairly good. I mean, we got uh, nothing below exotic, which is great, right? So, and I will also concentrate on getting us, oops, I just threw out some torpedoes. That's all right. Concentrate on getting us bigger. That will help with the damage overall hull. And uh, yeah. <laughs> I got a hair trigger on the torpedoes. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys liked it. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. If you want to be notified when there's more, definitely in the next episode, we're going to be going after the Zotan Wormhole Guardian. So, yeah. So, that'll be there. Anyways, so if you, like I said, if you guys liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to be notified when there's more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And hit that bell icon. And, yeah. If you want to know what I'm playing this game on, my computer specs are down in the description and they will be down in the comments as well. And if you click on those links, it will help the channel out or it has a potential to help the channel out. So uh, yeah, 
Anyways, guys, I hope everybody's doing fine, staying safe, staying warm. It looks like the winter wonderland outside my window at the moment. We have a lot of snow out there. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Anyways, hope everybody's staying safe, staying warm, and I will see everybody very, very soon. Bye for now, guys.